tunes. Hey there, I'm Butch Hartman, the creator of the Fairly Odd Parents, and right now I'm going to teach you how to draw Timmy. Okay, first thing you want to do is start off with his hair. Timmy's got a big pile of hair in his head. Come down on the side of his head here, and then do his ear over here. And all the Fairly Odd Parents characters have a little number six inside their ear. And now do the side of his face, keep his face big and wide. Then you do uh, his hat, his famous pink hat on the back of his head. Use the top of his hair to bring the hat down like that. Don't forget the floaty button. It kind of defies gravity. Now do his eyes. He's got really big, giant eyes. They take up almost his whole face. He's got these little rectangle eyebrow shapes up here. And his nose is round. Then his smile comes all the way back around the back of his ear. Now we're missing a very important element here. And those are his big, giant, buck teeth. Don't forget those. Now his body's kind of just a little triangle. Like that. Some feet on the bottom. And then don't forget his pants. And his shoulder. Golf club shape for his hands. And that is how you draw it. Now let's take a look inside Nicktoons. Hi, I'm Brian Konitsko, co-creator of Avatar. And I'm going to show you how to draw Katara. So to draw a Katara, I like to do the construction of the head. You want to find the center line, vertically and horizontally. Next, I like to find the eyes. I usually start with the irises and the pupils. Since her head is turning away from us, we're going to see less of this eye and more of this eye. Then I find the front of the hairline. That's going to wrap around the contour of the head. Tucks right behind the ear. Find the nose. Draw her mouth. Give her hair a little bit of thickness. And then right about above her pupils, I like to attach her braids. And I always think it looks cute if it covers up a little bit of the corner of her eye. Draw her neck and her braid. It has eight bumps to it. Finishing touch. Add the highlight in the eyes and the pupils, which always brings her to life. And that's how we draw a guitar. Now let's take a look inside Nicktoons. Hi, I'm Eric Eldridge, a storyboard artist here on SpongeBob SquarePants. As a cartoonist, you want to think of yourself as an actor acting on the page. <laughs> from like the beginning I really enjoy it I'm having a blast just cause it's it's my sense of humor now let's take a look inside Nicktoons hi my name is Seng Hyun Do and I'm supervising director for Avatar and today I'm gonna show you how to draw Pyro Baka O punching first we have Pyro Baka O in the start position let me show him winding up to punch next we have the action where he punches and finally we have the pose where he settles after the punch and that is how you draw Pyro Baka punching now let's take a look inside Nicktoons hey I'm Butch Hartman the creator of the Fairly Odd Parents and I'm going to teach you how to draw Cosmo you want to start off with my letter C Draw his hair on this side. Draw his ear. A little number six right there inside. Real big on his hair because he keeps it nice and clean. Two big circles for his eyes because he's real expressive. Draw his eyes. It's a bunch of circles. Draw the little pupils in there. And then do his eyebrows. Do his basically two rectangles. And then draw his nose. Here's his mouth because he's always talking. Takes up most of his face. Open his mouth up. Give him some teeth so he can eat. Add his tongue and then draw his body, which is just a little triangle with feet on it. Pants. He's got a tie because he dresses for work. He put his arms on there. He wears long sleeves. And then his fingers, only four. Draw his wings. And the most important part of being a fairy godparent is his magic wand and his crown. And that is how you draw a crown. Now let's take a look inside Nicktoons. Here are my three favorite episodes of Avatar. My third favorite episode is Chapter 12 of the story, because it shows the lives of Aang and Zuko before Aang got trapped in the iceberg. My second favorite episode is Chapter 13 of the Blue Spirit, because it's got a lot of great action, and there's a really exciting twist at the end. And my all-time favorite episode of Avatar is Chapter 20, The Seed of the North. It's a great, big, epic finale to season one. Now let's take a look inside Nicktoons. 
Hi, I'm Eric Eldridge, storyboard artist here on SpongeBob SquarePants, and I'm going to show you how to draw plankton. First, what you got to do is you, you basically draw a thumb shape, and then you add his eyeball where you would have your thumbnail, put in the pupil and the highlight, and then you got to have a little mean eyebrow because he's, he's a bad guy. And of course, the frown. antennas in, generally about the same length as his body. Then you just gotta add these four little sensors here on both of these, and that's how you draw plankton. Now, let's take a look inside Nicktoons. Hey there, I'm Butch Hartman, and if you like to draw, I can show you a little trick so you can make your drawings come to life. Check it out. What I've got here is a big package of sticky pads, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each page and do a different drawing on every page, and I'm gonna flip them one after the other, and you're gonna see them magically move. So what I do is I take my first page, and I do the first drawing. I'm gonna do something very simple, a little ball. So I have the ball coming into scene there on the very edge of the camera frame, and then I have the ball dropping into scene, but that's gonna squish when it hits the ground. See how it squishes there? And as it gets to the top of its arc, it kind of slows down a bit and goes back to its original ball shape. So I put the drawings a little closer together. Then as it falls, it's going to elongate again, and the drawings get a little farther apart because the ball's picking up speed. And it's going to go back toward the ground, and it's going to squish again on the ground. And it's going to just bounce right out of frame. And when it's all said and done, we basically have a bouncing ball. Now let's take a look inside Nick too. Hi, I'm 
Clint Bond. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Gary. When I start Gary, I always start with the eyes first. To me, Gary's eyes look like two big ping pong balls. Put in the pupils. Make sure to get nice long stalks on him. Now Gary's body is very flat. He just crawls on the ground. He kind of slithers like a snake. Maybe a little wavy line underneath here. Gary's a mollusk. He needs a big home to live in. Every snail needs a big home. Add the shell detail. Now he's Gary. And never, ever forget to feed Gary. Now let's take a look inside Nick too. Hey there, I'm Butch Hartman. You know, every episode of Fairly Odd Parents starts out with a bunch of drawings called storyboards. What we do is draw the whole thing out, put it up on a wall. We want to make sure the story is as good as it can be before we start animating. Take a look. Cut to like a, uh, um, uh, a nightclub. We pull out and Pappy and Timmy are in the nightclub. Jasper is out of the house! We then see uh, Chip Skylark the first, uh, and he points over over to his uh, band. We see the band is playing animals, like the one guy pulls out a, uh, a squirrel, plays like a, uh, like a bass. Drum. Come on, Jimmy, let's dance. Who's got a smile like a wild boar? Whose teeth got chain at the hardware store? The girl who's rotten to the core, Ricky Vicky. creator of the X's. Hey there, I'm Butch Harbin, the creator of the Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom. Hi, I'm Mike DiMartino, co-creator of Avatar. And if you're thinking about having your own cartoon someday, here are a few tips to help you get started. Get a good idea. It can be about anything. I mean, think of whatever really interests you. If it's about an animal or a person or a plant. Always be original. Don't try to take ideas from other people, but use your own ideas that you think are funny. Develop your idea. Kind of draw the character a bunch. Get used to drawing the character. What is their favorite food how tall are they study the work of others there are a lot of great animators writers and directors who you could learn a lot from always keep drawing you should always have a sketchbook with you just in case something comes into your head funny things happen every day that you can use as inspiration for your own cartoons now let's take a look inside nicktoons hi i'm brian Kanitsko, and i'm going to show you how to draw Appa. you want to start with the big forms like his big round head the hump on his back all the way down to his tail you want to find the volume of his rib cage and then you want to draw each of his big trunk like legs six of them you draw his feet and he has three chubby toes on each foot sort of spread out with all his weight and then you want to find the center line on his head and start drawing his muzzle and his round chubby cheeks his nose is pretty wide flat. Alba's eyes are pretty small compared to his body. They're very wide apart like a cow. And then use that center line you drew on the head to find the arrow pattern on his fur. It goes all the way down his back. His tail is a big, wide, flat, round tail like a manatee. And then last are his horns, which are a little tricky to draw, but you just want to imagine them in three-dimensional space and see how they curve and wrap into his head. And that's how you draw Alba. 